SMT Nation, we back with the video, and this one's going to be a good one. It's an upgrade for T-Mobile, and I think the technical term for this one is actually going to be called an integration. I'll explain what the Magenta carrier is doing here, what exactly was done over the course of this, uh, this modification, and what it means for the residents of North Olmsted, Ohio. All right. Uh, now, just to give you guys a, a little bit of a background on where we are, in North Olmsted, Ohio, there are segments of the city that are very residential, and there are segments of the city which are more traditional suburban. Then there's parts that are kind of business district. There's a giant mall with huge high-rise apartments, condos, businesses, hotels. It's pretty close to the airport. It's just a you know a couple exits away from Cleveland Hopkins International. And I think because of that, it's a it's a very attractive location. You know, it's within 10, 15 miles of the city of Cleveland. You know, it's it's pretty convenient. It's got a lot of stuff in it. It's a nice little town. I like North Homestead. Anyways, I intercepted this upgrade that was going on. I saw this ginormous crane, like literally the biggest crane I think I've ever seen. Uh, an incredible piece of equipment. Um, but first, I want to familiarize you guys with this apartment. Uh, this is the Victoria Plaza Apartments. It's... um. If it's not the largest apartment complex in North Olmsted, it, it, maybe it's number two. Uh, the other one that's really large, and it is relevant to this, is the Westbury Apartments, which is the one that actually you may have seen in my other videos at the Walmart in North Olmsted. All right, so these are the two big ones. So many freaking people live in these things. All right, anyway, and then around these areas, it's all like shopping centers, plaza stores, mall, you know, the whole shebang. Okay, so there you guys have it. That's kind of the background. Here's kind of a perspective as to how big this freaking place is, right? These are all the stories. You guys will see all the different floors. This is the sector that faces the freeway. And I mean, it's pretty daggone tall. All right. So this, this is going to reach the low band, the mid band. It'll reach just fine wherever it has to go. Actually, in this segment of town, T-Mobile has incredible density. They've got this apartment plus the one I just showed you, they've got rooftop sites and those sites are only like a mile away from each other. There probably really isn't the need for a small cell in this case because the towers are so close and they've got N41 now on both sites. This just done. Uh, I'm not even sure if it was live yet. I didn't test it, but I most definitely will. Verizon is up here too. So is AT&T, but neither of them is upgraded yet, but I, I am expecting both Verizon and and AT&T to upgrade the site very soon because over across from the other apartment complex in this and that office space that's between the hotels, Verizon just added C-band and they already had millimeter wave there. So uh, I'm expecting that very soon. So here's the crane, ginormous piece of equipment. I was actually like, it gave me flashbacks of like the Transformers, how this thing would freaking <laughs> transform into some crazy like Megatron thing. All right, the crane is enormous, man. That thing was phenomenal. And it just dropped those suckers right up over the top. Uh, actually, you know what they did? They grabbed um, the old cabinet where they had all the equipment, like the baseband unit and, you know, all that stuff. So uh, they grabbed all that. They they grabbed the old equipment and they put the upgraded stuff. Here's a kind of a, a somewhat closer view or angle. So here's this sector. There's another sector over here. And then there's one on the back end uh, facing the opposite direction. Here's a view of the low band antennas and the radios behind it uh the radios in this instance is just gonna be a single radio low band this will be band 12 radio it'll do the um this is n71 band 71 lte and i think that's it for t-mobile for low band and then over here is the n41 i'll give you guys a better picture of that and over here is the band 2 band 66 all right so they they got i think this is an integrated radio i don't know it, it kind of looks like there's two of them there but anyways that'll do the lower mid band stuff, uh, band two and band 66. And then here is the N41. Uh, they refer to this as a MIMO antenna. I don't know if you guys have heard tower crews talk about it like this. I think the crew that was working on this was Olympia or Olympus. I forget. I think Olympus is the name of the company. They're, uh, they, they do a lot of work on towers in the Northeast Ohio region out of PA, I believe. All right. So this tower site just completed this now clusters N41 within a really, really busy place. They actually don't need a small cell in this instance because they're densifying the N41 pretty well for macros. Um, 
I'm trying to think if there's anything else going on here. Uh, but that's pretty much it. They, he referred to this as an integration. It was partially upgraded last year or the year before. I forget how he kind of described it, but he was a little shocked that they didn't finish the upgrade at the time. Uh, it's possible that, the, I don't know. And and really, he said the holdup was the Band 2 radio and antenna integration. So they had to go up and do that, and then I think they just added the N41. All right, so this is a Nokia market here in Cleveland, and this is Nokia gear for you know all of this. And uh, this upgrade is done, and I'll be sure to test this for you guys very soon. And, you know, you guys have asked me, you know, what does N41 look like? What does C-band look like? I Here, here it is. I'm showing you guys stuff. <laughs> Hope you guys are learning some things and, and you can look out for the stuff in your area when you see these tower, que- tower crews and what they're doing for your network experience. Comment down below any comments or questions on this upgrade and what they did. I'll try to answer those as best as I can and explain what I can. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Go ahead and leave your comments down in the um, comment section. Like, share, and subscribe for more, and turn on that bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Links in the description for my Patreon page if you want to support us there and get early access to content and exclusive videos and live streams not found anywhere else. Uh, Also, business inquiries can go to the Gmail address in the description and my Twitter handle down there as well. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.